All right, we're back to uh, Mario Golf here. Maybe I'll look around Harry's costumes a little bit. I, I, I like I like the orange shirt. Let's do that here one. Are you gonna do Yoshi this time? Yeah, I like Shane's costumes. No, or street because Maple is also a street shot, yeah, but she yeah. has more pen. Okay, okay. C stick. C stick is this one. Yeah. That's yellow. It's orange. Well, whenever I have the capture card plugged into the TV, it yeah. disorients the color a little bit on the TV. Yeah, well, see, if you look on the computer, it's a little... Well, that's what it'll actually look like. Okay, so what button A. Yeah, both at the same time. It's easier on an actual N64 controller than it is on a GameCube controller. Oh, I forgot about the snot bubbles. Oh, yeah. Yoshi makes uh, snot bubbles. See? There we go. Big, big blue snot bubbles. Uh, Koopa Park? No. No? Should I get desert? Sure, yes. Okay. Alright. Or what's the other one? Yo Yoshi's what's... Island? You don't like that one? Uh, I'm iffy. Okay, we desert. can do it. Desert. Desert? Desert. We're doing the desert! Ugh. Excuse me. Mix desert. We got pyramids and cactus at the same time. I mean, Koopa Park is just pretty much more Toad Highland mix, type stuff. Mixed style desert. Mixed style desert? Yeah, we can get the... Do the uh. There's no pyramids in here. There's no cactus in here. Right. I remember because I was researching that for because I was looking up something like uh, an idea for like a fictional desert setting, and then that's when I found that out. That's like, oh yeah, Egypt doesn't have cactus. I was like, really? Oh wow. That just I don't know. That really surprised me actually. Probably. Well, I mean, all media. It's just like. You see a desert, it's got cactus in it, and it's probably got, like, pyramids and sphinxes and stuff, too. They just mix all the desert elements into one thing. That's how video game desert worlds work. You gotta have all the elements, because it's gonna be your only desert, you know what I mean? It's not like the real world, where there's multiple deserts. All these video game worlds just have one. You have your token lava world, ice world, sky world, desert world. So they gotta mix all the elements. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter, because no matter what, you're going to hit it straight. Because you're a straight yeah. character. But still, yeah. So how come you never do play as Maple? So I'm sure. Really? What you think? I mean, she's, well, she's essentially female Harry. She doesn't have any cool sounds. Yeah, I guess what you're right about say? that. What does she say when she gets something? No stars or anything like that. Just kind of nondescript stupidness. Oh, yeah! She uses a real southern accent. I mean, at least you could have with Charlie. You know. Who's the man? Yeah, I guess she, you're right. She but, could at least sit there and, like, say to him, too. But all you have with Yoshi is, like, the I annoying saw. squeaks. I know. But at least he shoots straight. See. Yeah, but Peach shoots straight. I mean, she's pretty weak, though. Oh, please do not do that one. Please don't do the work. No! No! <laughs> Oh! Oh! Okay, cool. Nice on. Please stop that. <laughs> no! Dad, why? Okay, there we go. Nice. Birdie! Okay. I like Harry, he's like a real golfer. <laughs> you saying that Yoshi is not. Nice. Yoshi is a dinosaur. Did you have you ever met a dinosaur that was also a golfer? For everybody honest, that every dinosaur that I've seen is That is true. I mean, have you ever seen that movie, um, We're Back? It starts with uh, the T-Rex playing golf, right? He's got shoes on. And he does have shoes on while he's playing golf. So I, I guess your statement stands, Dad. Touché. Touché, Mr. Pussycat. Uh, there we go. Good shot. Nice shot. Hole in one, hole in one. Hole in one, hole in one, somebody got a hole in one. Do you remember the episode of uh, Rugrats where Stu and Boo were like really competitively nice playing in golf? Do you remember in Rugrats how Stu and Drew did everything really competitively, oh, childishly, right. more than the kids do? Yeah, that, I... <laughs> that was always one of the big jokes of the show, though, was like the how childish the adults were, oh, right. and how adult the, ch the kids were. That's what made it. Such a good show. Rosie and I uh, recently started um, watching that show 
sometimes we get on these little nostalgic kicks where it's like, oh, I remember this cartoon from when we were kids. Let's watch a few episodes of it for fun. And there's just a few things I, I notice, like, it's like oh, I don't remember that as much. Like, how the grandpa talks about how, like, everything was apparently, like, 15 miles from where he lived. I am Orange Yoshi. You are Orange Yoshi. You're go ghostly Orange Yoshi. Nice birdie. <coughs> And it's like, when I was a kid, we have to walk 15 miles to the school, or 15 miles to the store, Every, everything's 15... Par 5. 15 miles away, par 5? This is the problem, actually. Is uh, doing really long things? Because his range isn't that good, is it? No. Most of the straight characters don't have very good range, the exception being Maple. Okay, that, is that really... Okay. Yeah. I think that went up pretty good. I'm I'm happy with that. Some characters, when they get their uh, full power shot in, they have like special effects. Like Mario hits fireballs, and Yoshi gets rainbow shots. Sherbet. Orange Sherbet. Yahoo! Yahoo! Longest drive. Oh, no, no, hey, I, no. I am Harry and you are Yoshi. But no, yeah, Maple does wear like the same style clothing as Harry, and a lot of her motions are the same as Harry's. So she's essentially female Harry. I always just assumed, when I was a kid, I always just assumed that um, Maple was Harry's wife. That's just what I always assumed when I was a kid. Because of how similar they were. Or maybe sister? I don't know. Wife was the first thing to come to mind when I was a kid. I don't know why. Ooh. Uh, that's a weird angle. Oh, I didn't quite make it. I needed more power. Dang. Now oh, that's kind of a waste of a power shot then. Up. Five away. This thing goes up to 83. Uh... Dang. I thought that'd be better. Ah, it's not even gonna be on the green. Green edge. Do you remember um, when, um, when I was a kid, I would borrow your uh, your camcorder? Ah! Oh dang, that was really close. I would borrow your camcorder and record myself uh, playing games. Uh, no. I would I would do that sometimes. Old N sixty four LPs. My gosh. Uh, I would have been the first to do it. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I uh, I would record. I remember recording um, myself beating Mewtwo in Pokemon Stadium. I remember recording um, the hole in one animations for every Mario Kart Mario Golf character, and I remember recording. Uh, what was the other thing? I recorded. Um, 
myself going through levels of uh, Donkey Kong 64. Yeah, we might have those tapes somewhere. <laughs> yeah, somewhere! We got a big box of tapes. Oh my gosh, that would be really weird oh, if I found to, those. Maybe, maybe you'd someday. Have you'd have to get something to play them on. Oh yeah, that's right, because they're all like VHS, yeah, huh? They're VHS-C Oh my gosh. It's crazy yeah. to think about. Yeah. 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 Right. But, uh, no. So, I guess it's not too much of a surprise then that now I record video games. Because I, I used to do it when I was a kid, too. A little undershot. But, I mean, angle is fine. It's just, you're going to probably need a lot of power to get into the green because of how strong the wind is. And you strike with all the colors of the wind. And... I never beat Donkey Kong 64 when I was a kid, though. Actually, I haven't ever beaten it because of that. I never tried. Yeah. I wish they would re release Donkey Kong 64 so I could uh, rectify that, but they haven't. So, to this day, I'm just kind of like, man, I really wish I would have beaten Donkey Kong 64 when I was a kid. Because I never did. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I, uh, with a lot of games like that, I was intimidated by the challenge of going on to the next area. Wow, I really overshot that. I thought the way would push it more. Okay. It's a powerful win. But so, like, I would just be content doing the getting all the same gold bananas in uh, Jungle Japes and uh, as Angry Aztec, and just I would just stick to those two levels. Like, I went into Frantic Factory or what, what Fear Factory, uh, Frantic Factory, enough to get Chunky Kong, and I explored Gangplank Galleon a little bit. Yeah, it's, this hole's really screwing me up. But, um, yeah, I never beat Donkey Kong 64. Same with, what was the other game? Yoshi Story. Never beat Yoshi Story when I was a kid. Um, and neither of us ever got through Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Yeah, it was. Well, especially, um, because we always got stuck on the level with the, uh, with the AT-ADs, right? That's what they're called, the really tall ones that they use the tow cable on. Because the, the angle was so weird on trying to, to put the tow cable around him, so we never got past it. Oh. Dang. Too high. I didn't think the medium was going to be. It was short. I didn't short, short. Short wouldn't have done it. You're right. It's the medium. What happened with Yoshi's story is... Um, I got the black Yoshi, and then um, I just... Oh, that sucks. That does, actually. <laughs> yeah, I had that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, maybe I should focus on the hole really quick here. Oh, no, 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 no! Are you kidding me? Oh, damn. We're both going to get, like, double bogeys at best. But yeah, I got the black Yoshi, and I was using it through the whole game, and then I got to the final uh, world, and it kept dying, and I didn't want my black Yoshi to die, so I just never beat it, because I was too scared of my black Yoshi dying. Well, we're back, both back down to zero now. Damn. That was, uh, not good. Um... Yeah, I'm just trying to decide. Uh, it's going down, so I'm gonna go with that. Hope it doesn't land on that cactus. That should be fine. Oh yeah, that should be fine. He even told me nice shot. Nice shot!
trying to think. I think Metal Mario could shoot it like really far in this one, like to that very last island. Because Metal Mario is such a crazy range. It's going down and you got the wind. That's the same as Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Was it worth it? it? Was necessary yeah. Yeah, we just have to scooch to the left a little bit. Oh, uh, I'm thinking about the wind. I'm pushing the it wind, that way. Like a yeah. So I think we need to be the side. Uh maybe with that. Mm, that should be good, I think. I'm on, I'm on the green. Nice on! Nice on! Nice one! I'm just noticing now that, like, Yoshi's mouth is constantly open in this game. Yeah. Wait, I, I, I want to see that ne ne next time Yoshi comes up. Okay. Let's see here. Um, I think I might have undershot that. I just, uh, yeah, I meant to hit it harder. Oops. Yeah, see, look, his, his mouth, it's got that little triangle. It's just open all the time. You're just like, uh... Uh. Pop. That was good. Nice car. Look so happy. The caramel color goes to this. Nice car. Is that right? <clears throat> Alrighty. I want to be yelling at this. <laughs>